it's Liv. It is now day five of Vlogmas for you guys. Yeah, so day five Vlogmas. It's December 4th for me, but um, you'll see us on December 5th, so it's day five. And I decided to do a sit down video for Vlogmas today, mostly because I was in school all day and I didn't have time to like film myself doing anything. So today we are going to be talking about the top 10 Christmas movies. Um, I ranked them myself, so this is purely just like my own opinion on these movies that I believe are like the top 10. So I've got my list um, right here. I typed down everything and we're gonna go through that. So um, number 10 I have decided is The Grinch and I'm counting like all three in that. So like the original um, animated one and then the Jim Carrey one and then the new one that just came out this year. The reason they are top 10 is because I have a fear of the Grinch but the movies are still good. Grinch creeps me out, you all know that. Um, we've talked about it all multiple times. Like they have a good message. I like the message of like what Christmas is all about and like the Grinch has his reasons for why he's the Grinch and I just like the overall ending message. They all kind of like different messages portrayed within all three of them but overall it's still good and it's a Christmassy feeling movie like the way that like Whoville is just so full of Christmas spirit. We have me get into the Christmas spirit and overall, it's just a good movie. Not the best, so that's why it is number 10. Number nine is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I stuck it at number nine because it is a classic movie. I felt like it deserved to be on the top 10 list, um, but it's not like the best classic Christmas movie. It has a really nostalgic feeling, which I like about it. Cause like, and I love the classic Griswold's car with the tree on top. Like that's just, I love the look of it. Um, so like, I think that's like a staple Christmas movie. It's funny, it's got that classic like humor of like my parents' generations, so, like they like it. It deserves to be on the list. It's a good movie, it's iconic. It deserves to be number nine. Number eight is Elf. My mom personally hates Elf, so she would disagree with this, but it's a funny movie. Will Ferrell is pretty funny in it. I like the overall idea of the movie and it also has a really good message about Christmas spirit and spreading Christmas spirit and screwing capitalism and I just like it. It really has that message about being with your family during Christmas, which I really like. Um, it means a lot to me. So I just think it's a cute movie. Plus it, it's funny. It's got great lines like, bye buddy, hope you find your dad. That's a good, it's iconic. It's really good. But yeah, so that's why it's number eight. Number seven is the Polar Express. I should be drinking my gingerbread tea that I made for this video because we're talking about Christmas movie tea. Here's the tea about Polar Express. The music in Polar Express is iconic. The overall, like the main theme is like iconic. I'll play it for you for like a few seconds right here. Yes, yeah, um, so that's really good. The animation was when it was originally made was really good too, it was really good animation. And also like just the music, the soundtrack, like the opening Polar Express song, and then Hot Chocolate, they're really good songs. Also, both of those were my tap songs way back when, when I was younger, when I competed. The story creeps me out. Like, the part with like that weird train car that's full of those weird old dolls, and then also the whole hobo scene, like the hobo on top of like the train and like seeing him, like, I don't like that. And then also to the point when they get to the North Pole and they're running around, because um, they got separated. I don't like that either. That's just too, that's too much for me. It's creepy. It's really weird. But it does have that cover of like the song by Josh Groban, which gives it, that's why it's at number seven, because it does have good aspects. It's kind of creepy, but it's still good. Like I'd still watch it if it came on TV this time of year. Also, I really like the whole bell idea. Like you can only hear the bell if you believe, which is really cute. Anyways, moving on to number six. Santa Claus is coming to town and I'm talking about like that stop motion claymation Christmas movie. So I used to have all of those little golden books movies on VHS when I was a child and I'd watch them. It was like a collection and I'd watch them all back to back. One of my favorites was The Year Santa Claus Didn't Come to Town. That was a good one, but only because like Heat Miser, that was like the only good part. But anyways, that's not on the list. That's why it's over there. Not on the list, maybe like a number 11. Santa Claus is coming to town. That's a good one. It's really cute. Also, it has that song, Put One Foot in Front of Another, which is a classic song. I love it. And it's just really cute. It's a good movie. You should watch it if you haven't watched it. Take a watch. It's good. Okay, so number five is Rudolph, like the Red Nosed Reindeer. Also, like the Claymation Golden Book one, because it's really cute. Here's a tea. I saw a Facebook post that Nita showed me about someone going off about how Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer is a bad movie for kids to watch. And it was because of a stupid reason, because apparently the characters were creepy and it was teaching us a bad message about some stupid stuff. I don't know why. 
because the message of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is to own your differences and like just love yourself. That's literally what it's about. Like surround yourself with people who are good for you and like you and think that you're great and support you. Why is that a bad message to send to kids? I don't know. But yeah, it's a good movie. So Rudolph is up there. Also, Rudolph is the reason that Santa can fly his sleigh at night. So he deserves to be at number five on this list. Number four is Home Alone, not the Home Alone franchise. I'm talking about only the first Home Alone and the first Home Alone only. Second Home Alone lost in New York. It's okay, but I mean, the pigeon lady is creepy. We all get that. What are the chances that those robbers are actually gonna be in New York City? I don't know. Also, how much money does this family have to be going on multiple like expensive trips every Christmas? I don't know. Um, but I also don't like Donald Trump's cameos. Like the whole thing is just like so not real. Like number one though, home, which we're talking about, we're talking about the number one, Home Alone. It's the really Christmas classic. It's hilarious. It's genius. It's somehow still has the meaning of Christmas in there, which is once again, being with the people you love the most, um, the mom's dedication for getting back home to see Kevin after she accidentally left him behind. Really cute meaning. Plus it also has a really good main theme, Somewhere in My Memory. Really good, let's play it right now. It's so good, right? I love it, it's really great. Also, I have the sheet music for it for flute, so like, it sounds really pretty on the flute. It's really good. It's so good, the music in that movie, top notch. Number one, really good. This brings us to number three on the list of top 10 Christmas movies, and that is Arthur Christmas. This one only came out like if not long ago, like maybe, I think it came out maybe 2015. I think it was 2015 it came out. Don't quote me on that. And honestly, it's really good animation. Also saying it's created a capitalism, like the whole capitalism side of, like, maybe it's commercialism, the words I want, the word I want is. Yeah, commercial side of Christmas, it's like, Get rid of that. This kid, Arthur, he just wants what's best for little, I think it's Susie. But yeah, he just wants to make sure that she gets her Christmas wish for Christmas and he does everything he can to make that happen. And I think that's just so sweet. That's a really good message that I want to spread about Christmas, like helping out other people and making their Christmas wishes come true. Also, I love that like the Santa Claus is like a title that gets handed down through like generations. So like it starts with like the grandpa and it goes to like, the dad, Santa Claus, and like there's the brother, and there's him, and like Mrs. Claus is like the mom. Like I love it. It's really cute. I like the whole idea of it. Also, I love that there's like a game, a board game in there of of like Santa Claus and Christmas. It was really good. Uh, and on to number two, which is Christmas with the Cranks. And I don't know if you've even seen this one. I didn't see it for the first time until like maybe a few years ago, but it's really good. It's just hilarious. Like it's classic, it's funny. It's got Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Curtis. It's so good. The story is funny. I mean, it's totally understandable like what they go through because like their daughter leaves, their only child leaves for Christmas and she's not gonna be coming home for Christmas and they get really sad and they're like, okay, like let's just boycott Christmas because it's not Christmas without Blair, who's their daughter. And so they just like boycott Christmas and then like trying to avoid Christmas at all costs um, is hilarious. Like the kids like banging on the door asking for like the frosty snowman statue to be put up. The carolers like continuously coming to their door and like singing songs and like coming to the windows. Like the whole thing's just hilarious. And also in the end when Blair does come home, they the whole community comes together for Blair to like make Christmas like the way it always is. And I think that's so cute. I really like it. It also has that sense of community and like being with the ones you love, which is just so sweet. I love it. It's funny and it's heartfelt. It's everything you want in a Christmas movie, so. Plus all the decorations are so pretty. Like they're gorgeous. And this is my gingerbread spice tea, by the way. It's so good. Go to Love Barn and buy this tea. Please. That's awesome. <laughs> oh well. Now we are down to the number one Christmas movie of all time. All time. Number one is this movie, and it is a Christmas story. The classic movie, the iconic movie, the movie with the leg lamp in the window, iconic movie. It is so good. And I don't know if I'm biased because my family watches this movie on Christmas Eve every single year. Um, we sit down and we just watch it together because before we go to bed because it's so iconic. It's a Christmas story. What better way to get ready for Christmas than watch a Christmas story? There's no other way. It's the best. It's like everyone can relate to the story. It's hilarious. Like from the hard ass dad to the sweet caring mom to the little brothers being helpless to the struggles that um, Ralph like goes through. Like it's hilarious. It's just so funny. It's like the little jokes like, like the you'll shoot your eye out. 
But like that whole thing is so funny. Everyone's saying that he's not gonna get Red Rider BB gun for Christmas. And everyone's just like, oh, you'll shoot your eye out, kid. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. I hate the scene where they go to the mall and they go to meet Santa because the elves are just like so mean. And like, I know that's the feeling you're supposed to feel when you see it, but I hate that scene. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Go up, and then he forgets what he wants for Christmas, and I'm like, understandable, and then he asks for a football, but like he's, it's that whole scene I just hate, and then when they just like tap his head to go down the slide. Oh, ho, ho. No! I hate that even more, and like all the kids are screaming in this scene, and I'm like, I would be screaming too, because Santa's creepy, the elves are creepy, also why do they have to climb up like this mountain and then go down a slide to meet Santa? It's really weird, I don't like it. It's too much whatever but the rest of the movie makes up for it. it's hilarious ralphie like accidentally says the bad word at one point when they're changing the tire to the his friend licking the flagpole and getting stuck and they have to call the fire department to come save him and a really good part is when <laughs> they're running away from like the bad guys and like his brother randy is laying there like on the ground <laughs> and he's like and like he literally says, like the narrator about his brother, it's like, Randy lay there like a slug. It was his only defense. Like, Randy lay there like a slug. It was his only defense. I love that scene. <laughs> it's hilarious. All the way down to like bunny pajamas, to the dogs coming in to steal the Christmas turkey, him fantasizing these scenes about like these robbers coming and him stopping him with his Red Rider BB gun to him eating the soap and blaming on his friend and his friend getting heck for it from his mom too. It's all so funny, like, it's hilarious. I love it. There's really nothing quite like a Christmas story and because it's so unique and it's so great and it's so iconic as well, like there's a cult following for this movie, like it's that good. For all the reasons I have stated, that is why A Christmas Story is number one out of all the Christmas movies of all time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you agree or disagree with any of the placements of my movies, um, or if you think there's a different movie that should have been in this list, let me know. It's open for discussion. I can be easily persuaded on. So let me know down below in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe. There's a new video every day for Vlogmas and I don't want you guys to miss out on anything. Like this video, comment down below your favorite Christmas movie, if you agree or disagree, and then click that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Also, hit the bell icon to be notified. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 6. But yeah, see you guys later, bye.